here is my drill rig. I have for my guides. I've got a. I'm using two by fours with a kind of a slide hole through here that I run a two by four across my gantry, basically. And I'll show that to you in a minute. Here's my motor on my gantry. It's two pieces of two by 12s. And what I've done is I've offset my, uh, my drill stem to over to this way. All I did was run a pipe through there and put a kind of a lock on top of the bottom and top there to uh, put a chain sprocket on. I put the same size sprocket on both ones so it'll be a one to one ratio. And then uh, after that, I put the chain on it. That turned fine. And then uh, I went to the top. I've got this thing nine feet tall. I got me a little power winch on top. It's electric. Hooked to a chain and that picks the rig up. This is nothing more than a 1983 model hand auger. And I chose this because of the power of the, uh, the gear ratio in the bottom of it. So, you know, I don't know if this thing's gonna work or not, but we're gonna give it a whirl. All I lack now is cutting a hole in my bottom area here so my drill stem can go through that I will change over as need be. Right now, I think I can, I should be able to put a four foot drill, drill stem on it each time as I, as I get ready. Uh, I had to rig up a way to keep it balanced. This is more or less a, uh, one of my guides right here. I have three quarter inch plywood at the top, three quarter inch plywood at the bottom. And like I say, I just kind of got my handles of my auger kind of uh, braced up like that. And I'll be back in a minute. 